Hey guys and welcome back to our channel and in today's video we'll be talking about downloading torrents safely. Now downloading torrents comes with its own set of potential risks whether it's from security standpoint or from a legal standpoint if it involves copyright material. So to avoid these risks it is essential to take extra caution and use a VPN while torrenting. Now if you're wondering what the process of torrenting with a VPN watching your back you're in luck because in today's video, it's all about that. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of these VPNs mentioned a try, you'll find discounts available in the description down below to help you potentially save some extra money. First of all, it's important to keep in mind that downloading torrents can be risky and not only due to the possibilities of getting malware, but also from downloading without a secure internet connection. So to ensure the safety of your privacy while downloading torrents, it's super important to familiarize yourself with the process. And as I previously mentioned, using a VPN is essential as well as other important factors to consider. So the three key steps involved in downloading torrents are obtaining a dependable torrent client that can effectively complete the file download, researching trustworthy websites to download torrents from to avoid potential malware or data breaches, and finally, carefully selecting and downloading the appropriate torrent file, which may be more complex than it appears. But during each step of this process, there are potential dangers that can be avoided by using a VPN. So let me explain how to safely download torrents using a VPN, which can conceal your IP address and make it appear as though your traffic is coming through a different location, as well as to ensure anonymity while downloading torrents. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using ExpressVPN, which is currently one of my preferred VPN services. So you need to open your VPN app, log in and connect to a VPN server to encrypt your data and conceal your current location. Though keep in mind that many VPNs have a fast number of servers, so it's important to select the right one. And a useful tip, the closer the VPN server is to your location, the faster the internet speed will be. For instance, if you choose a server in a nearby city or even in a country close to yours, your speeds will be faster than if you connect to a server located on the other side of the world. Additionally, some high quality VPNs have dedicated torrenting servers that are optimized for P2P traffic and are typically highly secure. ExpressVPN, for instance, has dedicated P2P servers that come with extra security features so you can rest assured that you are protected at all times. To locate ExpressVPN servers specifically optimized for torrenting, navigate to the specialty servers list and select the P2P option. You have the ability to change the country and specific server as well as customize your connection by accessing the three dots menu. It is recommended to keep the default settings for the faster speeds. If you're using ExpressVPN and would like to determine the ideal server for torrenting, you can visit this address. You can click the advanced options and select P2P under server type for extra customization choices. And if you want to take it up a notch, you can also filter options by protocol for even more customization options. Before beginning to download torrents, it's important to enable the kill switch by going to the settings, selecting the kill switch, and turning it on. This will protect you in the event that your VPN connection is disrupted. Now that you know how to download torrents anonymously using a VPN, there are some other important things to consider before you start downloading. For starters, to download torrents safely, you need a reliable torrent client that will ensure that you are able to download the complete file while staying protected. Some popular high quality torrent clients include uTorrents, which is free and easy to download and install. And to make sure you can easily find your files, set a default download location in your torrent client by going to options, then preferences and selecting directories. This is essential to ensure that you're able to find your files easily. Now for finding a reliable website for downloading files, you need to look for a site that is easy to navigate and has a variety of options and is trustworthy. Keep in mind that torrenting websites may pose a risk for hackers and viruses, so it's important to use a VPN and have a good anti-malware and antivirus program installed. When searching for a specific file on a torrenting site, pay attention to the number of seeders 
and read the comments for helpful information. This can help you determine the best version of the file to download for faster speeds. And whenever possible, it is recommended to use a magnet links to download files as they provide your torrent client with the necessary information to begin the download process, making it faster and more effective than using a torrent file, which is a separate small file containing the download information. After selecting a magnet file, you will receive a pop-up notification indicating that the download is about to begin. When downloading torrents, it's best to only choose the wanted files and uncheck the rest since some of the other files may have harmful content. Additionally, it's also important to verify that the file format can run on your device. If you have any doubts about the file, run it through an antivirus program after the download is complete. Now that we spoke about all of this stuff, which VPN is the best to use? And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, and that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, 
which is a great plus. Now, if you're interested in Surfshark, we have an exclusive discount we can offer for fans of our channel, and I'll show you how it works. So if you directly go to Surfshark's website, the deal you currently get is 24 months for $249 per month, saving 81%. And with other channels and websites, you'll get two free months and an 82% discount. However, if you use our exclusive coupon code, you'll be getting three free months in total, saving you 83%, which is the best deal available on the internet. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you find links to pricing and discounts, as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to respond to as many of those as I can. Finally, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.